Nope, I'd wager that the majority of people don't know what the different types of lift systems are, especially an ESP. Like, what is an ESP even anyway? Like, if only we had somebody who could show what an ESP looked like and, well, what it does. <laughs> well, get it? Now, for those that are not in the know, no, ESP isn't that thing where you can read people's minds or it's not a new sports channel. So actually, what an ESP is, is an electronic submersible pump. It is basically the industrial version of a sump pump. It gets lowered inside the well with the electronic cable running alongside the production tubing along up through the wellhead at the top of the surface. And here's what the wellhead configuration looks like. And here's that electric cable running through over to a junction box, which then feeds over to the drive. And over across location, we have a transformer, not Optimus Prime, but these pumps take a lot of power. So you need to have a transformer to step up and step down that power and the VFD or the variable frequency drive. Now the VFD serves a few different functions. The main one being it's the brains of the downhole motor and pump because there's so much power flowing through this thing. You've got three phase power with 480 volts. There's so many different electric faults that can damage and burn out the downhole motor. If that should happen, it takes a service rig to come in, pull the pump out of the hole so it is costly to service this type of well. The other advantage of having a variable frequency drive is you can adjust the speed at which the motor is turning, which ultimately affects how much fluid that pump is lifting out of the well. So if you need to pump more fluid, you can speed it up. If you need to pump less fluid, you can slow it down using the variable frequency drive. And the drive also acts as a focal point where you can tie in the well shutdowns, high pressure, low pressure shutdowns, and also some telemetry where you can have it call out an operator if that well should go down, depending if it's set up for that. Now let's talk about why this lift system is used over other types. Like why is a submersible pump used instead of a reciprocal pump or a pump jack or a cavitation pump, those rotary pumps. Why is this used instead of others? These pumps are workhorses. They can move a lot of volume, by far more volume than any type of other artificial lift system in the oil field today. So that being said, they're used in areas with a lot of inflow, either to make a lot of oil production or they're in areas where they need to draw the fluid column down to get the optimal oil production out of a well bore. Now, what are some of the disadvantages of this type of lift system? Well, the main one being it cannot handle gas at all. Pumps are meant to pump fluid. They're not meant to compress gas. However, other types of lift systems can handle a little bit more gas coming through the pump system, whereas in an ESP, it will destroy the downhole pump. Now there are some protections in place. That smart little drive system we talked about earlier can detect if the pump is spinning really fast and it will shut it down in that case. But we don't rely on that. So the operator of the well has to make sure that there's an adequate fluid level above that pump to make sure it's always got fluid going through that pump system. Now, if that downhole pump fails due to that or the motor fails due to some sort of electrical fault, that's the other disadvantage. These wells are very costly to not only install, but also work over as well. The pumps are expensive, the motors are expensive, and then you have to bring in a service rig and a bunch of other services to be able to pull it out of the well and replace it with a new one. So yeah, that's an ESP in a nutshell. Hope you all found this video helpful and informative. If you liked it, give it a like, share it out, helps boost it in the algorithm. If you have any other questions, don't be afraid to throw them in the comment section. I'll ask for them when I can. And as always, if you enjoy this oil and gas related content, follow along for more. Thank you.